welcome to the first episode of Crystal Media TV, an indie retailer source to using online marketing tools to drive offline foot traffic. I'm Crystal Vilkaitis, and the very first episode, I wanted to start off with a very hot topic, which is getting out of the social media overload. How many of you feel like Gosh, there's so much to do. It's always changing. I'm not even sure if I should be using these sites, which sites, how often. I've got so much to do in my store already running my business that to, to learn social media takes a long time. And then to update it and then stay on top of it and build it. It's overwhelming. It is like mega overload. So I have three simple tips to help you get out of that overload and kind of create some simplicity when it comes to your social media efforts. So let's dive in. Number one, it is crucial that you plan what you're going to be saying and where you're going to be saying it and who's going to be saying it on all your social media sites. I often find that many businesses I talk to will just start a Facebook page, they'll start updating, they'll get on Pinterest, they start pinning stuff, they're just doing all this stuff just kind of as, as they have time for it, or they tell someone, hey, will you get us on these accounts and start using them to market? And, oh, talk about that event we're going to have this weekend, and it's just kind of random. There's not a lot of planning. It is super important to have almost like a social media action plan, that's what I call it, um, to make sure that you know exactly what you're going to say, when you're going to say it, who's going to say it, so you are just on the right track and really have a direction. And this plan is really going to come from what your goals are of using social media to market. Have you ever thought of what your goals are? I mean, obviously you're marketing because you want more people to come in and buy, but maybe there's other things that you want from it too. Maybe you want to strengthen a relationship with your customers. Maybe you need more online exposure. Maybe you're trying to tr send traffic to your website. Uh, maybe you're trying to connect more with the community online. Uh, maybe you need an outlet that's going to show your new arrivals. Um, so different things. I mean, obviously, your goals are going to be foot traffic and sales, but what else is it? It's got to be more, and I hope that one of them is to strengthen your relationship with your customers. So think about your goals. I really want you to do this. I want you to write down the goals of your social media marketing efforts. Then decide who's going to be posting. Is it you? If it is you, if you're the owner, if you're very busy, you just got to make sure that you have some time to do this so it doesn't get forgotten about. If it's not you, then make sure whoever's doing it really has the character, really can represent your brand online well, and, um, and then and knows how to use social media to market. Um, if you're a Social Edge member, I have an ebook to work through that really gives you some hand holding through this whole planning process to set up your social media action plan. So if you're a Social Edge member, log into membership, check it out. If you don't know what Social Edge is, click the link below to learn more. So we're going to plan out our efforts, okay? Seriously, write your goals, plan the who, the what, the when, the where, decide what those sites are going to be. Then create a calendar. Have a calendar, whether you have a printed calendar, if you have a digital online calendar through Google Docs. Um, I personally use a tool that's called Basecamp. It's a project management software. It's free. They, they've got this paid version too, but for me, I just use a free version. I can add my projects in there, but what I love about it the most is it's got this calendar that I can look at every single day and say, what's going out? What email's going out? What am I posting? What do I need to be working on? Uh, for retailers specifically, another great tool for you is Snap Retail. It's an email marketing platform that has social media integration. So have a calendar, okay, whether it is digital or on in the store. And then whoever's going to be doing your marketing, you, staff members, make sure that they look at the calendar every day. What are you talking about? What sales are going on? What's already going out on social media sites and through email? And what's happening in store? Then, number three, you're going to want to schedule as much as you can. This is going to kind of, what I like to say, get you set up for success. Okay, so if you plan the who, what, when, where, why, so big part of that is what. 
What are we going to be talking about to our customers? You're going to want to share new product arrivals and events and sales, but you also have to add quality content that they're going to respond to. And I've got some tips coming up for this, so stay tuned. So what are you going to talk about? Then those things that you can schedule, like let's say that you want to send out a funny quote once a week. Like you've got really fun products in your store and they've got really funny quotes on them. You can actually take the quotes from the products, put those in. You can schedule those out using Facebook. Um, in the on When you're on your Facebook page in the timeline, in the left corner there's a picture of a clock. Hit that clock and then you select the year, month, day, time, just schedule it out. You can schedule your posts for the ones that you know that are going to happen. And you can also schedule using Pinterest as well. Pin Graphy is a great tool for that. That way you can just kind of get some pins going out throughout the week. That way you don't have to be sitting in front of your computer pinning every single day. So use some of these tools. Hootsuite is another great one for if you're on Twitter. And uh, if you are a Social Edge member, I've got three Twitter training videos as well as Hootsuite training videos in Social Edge, so check those out. So schedule what you can, because that's gonna just like let you do it. Take an hour, at the beginning of the week, schedule for the whole week, okay? Then after that, you, it's just very important that you get in each day and check. Take a couple minutes and see, did anybody ask a question? Did they share it? Did they comment? Anything like that so you can respond and have great customer service. And then when things happen in real time, like something fun happens or some, some crazy cool car that just drove by your store and you took a picture and you can upload it right then and there to your, to your Facebook page or to Pinterest, then do the real time stuff in mix, mixing in with your scheduled uh, information. That way it just saves you some time, you've got a plan, you've got your calendar, now you've got a schedule. This, I can't tell you how it will help you so much not feel so overwhelmed. I really do believe that if it's not on the calendar, it doesn't happen. So to really make sure that everything that you want to talk about and to really utilize these online tools, put it on the calendar, schedule it when you can, have a plan, and you'll be this well-oiled machine. I'll be honest, it's going to take a couple hours to get this set up in the beginning, but once you've got it going, you will feel a sense of relief, I promise. I personally have felt that relief. I help businesses feel it. So get organized, plan, get a calendar, and schedule. If you liked this video, please subscribe to the channel, share it with your retailer friends. If you have any comments, leave them in the, in the chat section below, and I hope that you have a wonderful rest of the week. Hey yo, hey yo, hey, let's have a kiki lock the door.